Hi, my name is Michael Mazengarb. I'm a journalist with The Driven. Today I'm reviewing the Mercedes-Benz EQA 250. It's the second all-electric model that Mercedes is bringing to Australia that it's hoping to launch later this year. Uh, the EQA is the small compact SUV model that Mercedes-Benz is launching. The base model of the EQA will retail at $76,800, meaning it will just miss out on the recently announced $3,000 EV rebates being offered by the Victorian and New South Wales governments, but the base model will come in just under the luxury vehicle tax and be eligible for the New South Wales government's EV stamp duty waiver. So looking at the interior, the EQA is pretty much modelled off the Mercedes GLA, the petrol field small compact. And in fact, the interior layout is virtually identical. So the EQA has keyless entry and has a remote locking unlocking system if you need it. Has a digital dash which gives you both speed, battery charge state, as well as the draw down and recharge of the vehicle. So the EQA has a digital center console um, which allows you to control navigation, radio, entertainment and comfort. Those controls can also be controlled through a central mouse pad in the middle console. It also features wireless charging for phones um, in the centre well. As with most electric models these days, the EQA comes with regenerative braking. Uh, now you can control the strength of the regenerative braking using little flappy paddles that sit behind the steering wheel. Um, you can ramp it up and you can ramp it down or you can turn it off altogether. Um, effectively it means that if you, you ramp it up, uh, you get more regenerative braking as you stop um, and on its strongest setting it almost acts like a single drive, single pedal drive. Um, doesn't quite bring you to a stop when you, you reach a traffic light or an intersection um, but it will stop you quite quickly when it does. For me the top setting was a little too strong like I had hit the brakes a bit too hard but the mid-range settings were more than comfortable. The car can also be switched to an auto regenerative mode, which uses the car's proximity radar to judge the distance from other cars on the road and applies the appropriate level of regenerative braking. The EQA has a battery that's just over 66 kilowatt hours, which gives the car just over 400 kilometers of range. But it's not yet clear what its real world range would be under Australian conditions, but it's obviously gonna compete with cars of similar range like the Tesla Model 3. The EQA can be given an 80% charge at home in about 24 hours using a standard power point. An 11 kilowatt hour AC charging unit will give the car a 90% charge in just under six hours. A DC fast charging station with a maximum power of about 100 kilowatts will charge to 80% in just 30 minutes. Overall, I enjoyed driving the EQA around the city with 150 kilowatts of power, a decent amount of torque, and its smaller form factor. It's responsive and easy enough to navigate through tight streets and city traffic, but it still has plenty of range for longer trips. An ideal entry point for someone with money looking to switch to an electric SUV while keeping the luxury features of a Mercedes.